I'm Alice Hale and welcome to Pearl Grey. Today I want to do a new segment that I'm calling Nictionary. Words from the knitting world that you won't find in the back of a pattern book. So let's talk about our first word today, Rhinebeck. Rhinebeck is the New York State Sheep and Wool Festival, which is run by the Dutchess County Sheep and Wool Growers Association, an annual weekend-long event that takes place in October. It has become a mecca for knitters, spinners, and all sorts of fiber enthusiasts. Begun in the 1980s as a sheep sale for local shepherds, it takes place the third weekend in October. It's autumn setting, and it's very sort of homespun, country Hudson Valley aesthetic sets it apart from a lot of other fiber events which often take place in convention centers or are really only focused on the finished yarn and don't feature as much about you know the sheep and the alpacas and other animals and also just take place at less knitwear friendly times of the year. And when you add to that the fact that it is very close to New York City it's obvious why it has become a legendary event in knitting circles. It's often referred to as Rhinebeck because that's the name of the town where it takes place. And the New York State Sheep and Wool Festival is a little bit of a mouthful. A Rhinebeck sweater is a sweater that is knit with the intention of being worn to Rhinebeck. There have literally been books written about the Rhinebeck sweater. Look it up, it's all the teak. Because Rhinebeck has become such a massive and really sort of rare gathering for people from all over the world in the knitting community. Of course, knitters are going to want to be able to strut their stuff with their most recent and exciting projects, preferably something that their other knitting friends haven't seen yet. I would say that it's roughly the knitting world equivalent of cosplaying at Comic Cons. Most knitters spend months planning out the perfect pattern and the perfect project and the exact yarn that they want to make their Rhinebeck sweater out of. This has also led to the grand tradition of sweaters being finished on the drive to the fairgrounds or blocked in hotel rooms the night before or an unfinished sleeve being slipped onto waist yarn and worn regardless. Returning pilgrims to Rhinebeck may also make their sweater out of the yarn that they purchased the year before at Rhinebeck to make it even more full circle and a true Rhinebeck sweater. If you want to see some lovely anthologies of people's Rhinebeck projects, it's not always a sweater, but that's just the term that's usually used, you can check out the video that Gail Zucker put together a few years ago called Rhinebeck Style, and there's also the video that Christy Glass Knits did last year, yes, last year, uh, called Tell Me About Your Rhinebeck Sweater. I put the links to both of them below. This sweater that I am wearing is actually my Rhinebeck sweater. I'm planning to go to Rhinebeck this year for the very first time. I am very excited about it. And this is also the first full, like, long-sleeved everything sweater that I have ever made. So I'm very proud of that. And I can't wait to wear it to Rhinebeck. I do hope that the weather cools off quite significantly in the next few weeks because I don't want to boil. This is quite woolly and warm. Thank you for joining me for this first entry in Nichinary. I wanted to highlight some words that felt like a completely alien language to me when I first started investigating the knitting community. And I wanted to help explain them for people who maybe don't spend much time on Ravelry forums or haven't really listened to a lot of different knitting podcasts. Until next time, Happy knitting.